Hi everyone, I've been asked to give a fuel computer uh, tutorial and I'm not a pilot but I can uh, surely uh, give a tutorial since I did code it. Um, and uh, so I just wanted to mention that the first thing uh, that you should know about the fuel computer is that um, there are two major uh, modes which is the pre-flight and uh, mode and the I guess would be the regular flight mode and uh, you start out in the pre-flight mode and the pre-flight mode is always in red so if I press test here you'll see how these are red over here and over here you have orange and once you come out of pre-flight mode you'll go into this uh, uh, six uh, different labels here and then you can cycle through the functions here in the in <coughs> for the non pre-flight mode and then here you have three major modes which is fill up gallon remaining and add gallons and that's 64 gallons in each tank okay um, so basically um, the fuel computer is not tied to the uh, the gas tanks so it does not know how to read how much fuels in there it has a battery and so what you tell it is what it's going to know and then from each flight it um, it it burns its fuel from knowing the fuel flow uh, and um, how much f gallons per hour it burns from <clears throat> the fuel flow information um, so each time you fly you might have to uh, make some adjustments and uh, you and I will show you how to do that here in a second so let's say you come back to the plane and you're gonna make no change in the fuel uh, amount that you have um, that's gallon remaining so you know that the last time you flew you left 129 gallons in there and that's what it has here then you can just go ahead and proceed and um, go ahead and hit enter and that will take you out of the pre-flight mode into uh, the non pre-flight mode and um, from here you can hit function and get through six major different uh, functions um, but let's go ahead and go back let me get down here let's go back to the uh, oh um, I'm supposed to turn the battery off not the avionics okay so switching the battery off and on will take you back to the pre-flight mode uh, in case you had made a mistake and you need to come back and make a change. Um, the next function is fill up. So if you know that you're going to fill the tanks all the way, then just use this shortcut and use 206 gallons, which is the max fuel you can put on board. Um, if typically you, you have the fuel you left last time, you need to add more fuel and uh, you need to make a change from what you had last time, then we can add gallons. So right now we know that we have 129 and let's say we ordered some fuel and we're going to have a total of 150 gallons. So um, I guess that would approximately be about 75 in each tank. Um, so then we would come down to add gallons, uh, hit set and <clears throat> we don't want a one there. That'd be a hundred gallons. So we'll, we'll skip this one by putting it back to zero hit function that takes you to the second one so let's see so we had uh, 129 130 140 150 so we need what uh, uh, 21 gallons so let's put a two a one hit function it says verify hit enter to verify and now we have 150 and we are out of pre-flight mode so now we're in the regular mode ready to go fly um, you'll here you're gonna get six functions a gallon remaining uh, pounds remaining time remaining time changes also by um, by how much fuel flow is flowing through the system um, gallons used starts building up so the moment that you had gotten to this mode uh, pounds used as well and then timer starts um, timer I think you can hit yep you can just hit reset anytime and restart the timer um, also every time you go through these six functions every other one changes you from gallons an hour to 
um, pounds an hour. So you got gallons an hour here, then pounds an hour, then gallons an hour, and so on through these six modes, and you just constantly cycle. Okay, let's say you made a mistake and you put too much fuel in. Well, you already know we can hit the battery and that will take you back to here. But let's say you had accidentally, let's say you had filled up. Okay, so we'll go back one more time. Well, there's no way to subtract fuel and you don't want to fly with 206 gallons. So the way to reset this is to turn off the battery, hit the test switch once, turn the battery back on, and you'll be resetting the whole system back to zero. And then you can go ahead and add fuel uh, using the add fuel. So anyways, that concludes this tutorial, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.